Hello everyone, this is Andrew again, and now we're going to discuss PLC programming method introduction. Okay, let's start. First of all, I want to discuss the two ways to create a program. Based on my experience, we only have two ways to create a program. First is the freestyle programming and the professional programming. For freestyle programming, it is no rules, easy to start and can do impromptu programming while for professional programming we have using methods like algorithm and flowcharts it takes time to start and create flowchart before starting characteristic of plc program based on the ways of programming first for freestyle programming it is fast programming but it is difficult to edit Next, easy to explain for short programs, difficult to analyze as time passes by. Easy to troubleshoot for short programs, for professional programming, intermediate programming speed and easy to edit. Next, easy to explain, easy to analyze and easy to remember even if the program is done a long time ago. And it is also easy to troubleshoot even if the program is too long. Okay, how to become an expert in programming? Let's compare freestyle programming and professional programming. When creating your own program, both are equal. It depends on the experience of the programmer, of course. But for this one, when you are editing a program, when the program is too short, I can say that freestyle programming is very high. But for a very long program, the freestyle programming is only at 50%, while for professional programming is almost 100% here. But for reading other person's program, professional programming is very low, while freestyle programming is higher. Why is that? Because if you are a freestyle programmer, you encounter a lot of trouble and that makes you expert in reading a very messy program. That's why reading other program is a little easier for you. For editing other people's program, for professional programmers, if the standard that you use in your programming is different from the standard of the other people, the chance to edit that program is very low. While for freestyle programmer, it's a little higher because, as I said while ago, freestyle programmers encounter a lot of problem in programming that makes them expert in troubleshooting and reading other people's program. But for neatness, for professional programming, because of the programming techniques and standards, Professional programmers have a very clean program because their program is very organized, unlike for freestyle programmers. For a very short program, freestyle programmer has a very clean program also. But for a very long program, the ability of a freestyle programmer to clean their program is very low. To become an expert PLC programmer, you must learn both freestyle and professional PLC programming techniques. For a very short PLC program, freestyle programming is enough, but for a long PLC program, professional programming is recommended. Okay, before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please click the notification bell to notify you for new video. Don't forget to like and share our videos. Please like our Facebook page and click see first to notify you for new posts. If you like this video, please put a comment nice below. Okay, if you have finished 10 episodes of my PLC program tutorial for student level, I can say that as a freestyle programmer, you have level 4 out of 10. To increase your skill, 
you can watch the remaining student level tutorial that I have and your level will increase depending on your experience in industry. You need to practice your freestyle programming skill and for professional programming skill, I can say that you are at level 1 out of 10 because so I designed the student level tutorial for freestyle programming. You can watch my professional tutorial to increase your level. Your level will increase depending on your experience in industry. Next, deeper understanding on PLC programming. Know how to program is different from know how to use the PLC. Let's differentiate the two. Know how to use the PLC is know how to configure the PLC, download the program, upload the program, set up the PLC, use features of PLC, and use different plans of PLC. For know how to program is know how to create a program, perform write sequence, identify, and eliminate bugs. Let's have an example. You know how to use Siemens, Omron, Allen Bradley, and Delta. But when they give you a very hard program, you cannot program it. That is an example of know how to use the PLC. But for this one, you only know one type of PLC. But when they give you a very hard sequence, you can do it immediately. And that's what I meant on know how to program okay that's it thank you for watching this video and that's all for today thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my youtube channel Click the notification bell to notify you for new video. Please like and share my YouTube videos and like my Facebook page. Please click see first on our Facebook page to notify you for new posts. If you like this video, please comment nice. Please comment negative and colon and put your negative comments about this video please type suggestion semicolon and put the suggestion about this video and if you think that this video needs some improvement just type improvement semicolon and put the things that you want to improve about this video i will use all of your comment negative comment suggestion and improvement so that I can improve all my future videos. Thank you for all the feedbacks. And thank you again. See you next time.